Hello, my name is Laszlo Bodor and I will show you today how to recover an EC2 instance, instance for which you have lost the key pair used to authenticate via SSH. So first of all, we will launch an instance. Um, it will be a regular instance uh, with Amazon Linux. Um, we can use a small one, a T2 Nano, just not to accumulate too much cost. Um, here everything will be default, the storage also default. Um, we will not add the tax right now. For the security group, I will uh, choose the default security group, uh, which I have here. Um, I will launch the instance, not before generating a new key pair, uh, because I will need the new key pair. And, uh, I will say this is my initial key pair. Download the key pair and launch the instance. So the instance is uh, right now launching. Um, we will wait uh, for it to launch and then um, authenticate via SSH, create a file in it. Then I will uh, delete my key pair and show you how to recover this instance with a new key pair. Okay, so my instance is uh, launched and now I will um, use the shell to connect to the instance. Uh, first, let's copy the um, IP address um, and go to the shell. So SSH um, into the instance. Um, my initial key pair, the EC2 user, and the IP address of uh, the instance. Uh, yeah, it says that um, I didn't connect to this before and it needs to verify the authenticity. Yes, and I'm in the EC2 instance. Um, yeah, so my directory is home EC2 user. I will create here a file just. Uh, verify if we can later access this file touch my file .txt and uh, just add some content to it okay um, we should be able to read this file in a new instance with a new key pair okay and let's save the file um, do we have the content yes okay so this is um, now done let's go and uh, delete our key pair so this is my initial key pair i will delete it yes so basically now i wouldn't have any uh, yeah, it, it, this does delete only from the um, uh, AWS console, but uh, I will also delete it from my computer. So, my, my, I have to first exit the instance and now delete the initial keeper. Yes. So, I no longer have the file here. I don't have any keys left. So what we are going to do now is uh, create an image from the server, create image, uh, my uh, EC2 instance image. Um, by creating this image, what we are going to do is launch a new instance with this image when it will be created. And uh, that new instance uh, will assign a new key. So to this instance, uh, we cannot log in anymore, but the new instance which we will launch from uh, this AMI we just uh, created, um, we, to this, that instance we will be able to log in. So let's wait until uh, this uh, AMI is created. Okay, so our AMI has been created. We'll go now and terminate the instance we launched previously and we will launch a new instance from this AMI. 
here we will keep uh, all the options that we had before. Um, I will select the default security group so I can log in. Um, and here is the tricky part. Uh, we are now creating a new key pair. Um, my new key pair. Download the key pair. And launch the instance. So our instance is launching. And when it will launch, we will log in with this uh, new key pair. So let's wait for the instance to launch. Our instance is now launched. We'll go ahead and uh, log into this instance. So SSH, I will use my new key pair. Use the EC2 user and the IP address. I will confirm and oh, I forgot to change the permissions for the uh, key uh, file. So we'll do that right now. And uh, let's log in. Yeah, so I'm now logged in. And my uh, directory is home ec2 user. Here I should have that file that I've created. Um, yeah, so this my file txt. Um, let's cat the file and see. Yeah, so this is the content I've added on the uh, instant, first instance. So you can see that um, you can recover an instance uh, for which you lost the key pair by creating an AMI of the instance. Um, and then launching a new instance from that AMI with um, the new key pair. So I hope this uh, helps you and um, if you liked uh, this uh, video uh, then please uh, like it, share it and come back for more uh, videos on uh, AWS here on Majestic Cloud. Thank you.